Uh, but welcome to the first Creative Mornings in Aarhus. And we're very excited about seeing so many people here. Um, so I don't know how many of you who actually knows about Creative Mornings, uh, but we are the 21st chapter in the world to launch Creative Mornings. Um, other cities include New York and London and Paris and Cape Town just became a member last week. So we are steadily growing. So I'd like to introduce Truls Nørlem. Uh, the design manager of Designet here in Aarhus. Um, and I think he will be able to introduce Designet and himself even better than I would be able to. Um, so please welcome Truls Nørlem. What a nice way to start a Friday morning. Um, my name is uh, Truls. I'm design manager at uh, Designet. And just to give you a, um, a brief summary of what I'm going to talk to you about this morning is uh, mobile services. Um, I'm not going to be technical because I'm not technical. Um, I'm not going to go into uh, talking about whether going um, native apps or web apps or hybrid, hybrid apps or whatever, but I'm going to talk about uh, users, I'm going to talk about design, I'm going to talk about uh, what we've done the last three years when doing apps, what we've learned and what we're looking into, um, talking user trends, etc. Just briefly on design it, um, we've been around for about 20 years. Um, still, uh, started in Aarhus. Uh, <coughs> Aarhus is still the largest office with uh, about 65 um, designers. And we are about 230 designers uh, throughout Europe. Um, and in Europe, we are situated in Denmark, in, in Aarhus and Copenhagen, and in uh, Spain, in Barcelona and Madrid, in London in uh, Gothenburg, in Munich, Oslo and Shanghai. Shanghai is not Europe, of course. Uh, and then we are next month opening in Tel Aviv and Buenos Aires as well. So we are rapidly taking over the world. On a global scale, we cooperate with large clients. And some of them uh, don't even know where Aarhus is. Um, some of them does. Um, on a local uh, office scale, uh, we, of course, work with uh, smaller clients and local clients as well. So it's not all that international and hyped. Some of it is, but some of it is very, very close and near and um, making an impact tomorrow. Some of these clients are heading for making an impact uh, in 10 years' time from now. So it's, it's a very large project, some of it. Um, the signage services, uh, uh, we started uh, doing uh, product design 20 years ago and then um, steadily moved uh, and sp spread our services towards uh, digital design and brand and communication as well uh, and instructional design. And most of our services um, still uh, circle around uh, the, uh, the processes that we've taken with us from the industrial design being very user-centric and um, almost basing all our services on design research and user innovation and service innovation. To, to, to sum the services up, uh, what we do is uh, we try to understand uh, our clients' customers and then we um, discover new opportunities and transform these opportunities uh, into new um, products and services for our clients. When talking mobile, uh, we've been doing mobile services and apps for about th uh, three years now um, and presently we're helping uh, these guys out going mobile. Some of them already have, uh, have uh, apps and mobile services uh, that we've done and we're doing um, new and uh, uh, services for them now as well. Um, the most famous of our apps is uh, the Danske Bank app which you might have heard of, we've, um, but we've also done the other banking apps. We've done, we're doing a lot of financing uh, in the house. Um, and the other apps, Jyske Bank, uh, uh, Sydbank, and 
this is actually a, um, a picture of something called Bank Dutch, which has holds uh, 16 banks uh, with just minor differences uh, between the um, each app. So a lot of banking apps on for smartphones, and um, and now we of course moving um, moving them into the the tablet area as well, doing something else than is possible on the on the smartphone. I'll get back to that. And we are of course doing other things than, than finance as well. But 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 when talking to clients and and when meeting users in in the market, um, what have uh, what strikes us is that 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 there are that there might be some limits to what users are willing to do when going mobile or uh, when entering the mobile services but we haven't really met them yet um, uh, Google uh, two years ago or three years ago is it um, they changed their strategy and they said mobile first whenever doing anything digital or any services at all you should focus on on the mobile uh, potentials and then scaling down and moving to offline or to web, uh, even, but but focusing on the mobile first, and and, and really that's um, has shown its its potential, uh, and um, often mobile holds the more uh, deeper, uh, more strength, and even more potential, and uh, a more clean cut uh, service than if you want to go web, because then you you tend to to do more than the service really holds, and when you are on a mobile platform. Uh, you're forced to be very focused on, on the core focus and, uh, on the po on the core service and on the core functionality. But just to 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 make to show you a list of, of what our good apps uh, or, or our apps as a whole uh, have in common, um, most of them, not all of them, holds all, all these bullets. But but um, most of our apps they add user value to existing offerings. So they take an existing service from a company and then they add a mobile service to that existing service, adding more value to the existing service. So they are supportive. Um, they also engage users in a new meaningful role, being on a social scale or on a, as a, um, a, a new role as an individual to, um, in order to um, better utilize uh, an existing service or in order to utilize uh, your own um, potential within a given situation. Um, most apps are time-saving to users or staff, um, and then they turn dead time into do time. You know, when you are when you uh, when you are in the bus, and they deliver bite-sized services. They don't do entire service. You you might bet even get a better service or a more a more uh, complete service when going pure web. In, but in a mobile scale, they deliver a bite-sized snack that I can easy, easy digestible uh, service um, on the core functionality, of course. And then uh, they increase user interaction and dialogue. Uh, I'll get back to that in a bit. Um, and then, of course, uh, great apps are visually <coughs> delightful. Um, and context aware, they know where you are. They know your situation, they know your problem, and they know your, what you're going to do next. So they'll help you out where you are and uh, with the problem uh, at hand. And then, of course, they are download and do. And that's a trend we've we've um, we've seen uh, on a uh, on a on a European scale. Uh, not only a, a Danish uh, Danish trend. Um, and if not all, then most of our clients, they are expanding their businesses uh, going mobile. Um, in 2008, there was a very rapid adoption uh, on mobile, on apps, uh, in, a, uh, in, a, in, the, in the more playful and gimmicky uh, corner on, game, on gaming and on social networking, etc., on the B2C. And then, but in, in the last couple of years, uh, at least in, from 2010, and, and, and very, very much so in, in 2011, we've seen a, um, uh, the B2B market, the very heavy players adapting uh, the mobile services, turning their businesses into a, a mobile era, uh, not just making uh, new apps for, for just not, not making apps for the apps for the sake of the app, but taking their existing products and strengthening their products, taking. Their new ser their services and um, expanding or 
speeding up the existing services and taking them into a, a next level via mobile services. And uh, so, so, so the um, the apps now are are not uh, as much as a, as a gimmick or as a, a campaign take, but they are uh, revenue driven. They are uh, focused on uh, this is the next platform for survival of for many businesses. So, so, so fast forward to, to 2012. Um, we are looking at a mobile me year. Um, and we're looking at what the users, what they want, the tireless service snacking. You know, just when watching a movie in, in, the, in, the, in the cinema, you can just, you just keep on filling your mouth with snacks and popcorns and drinks and chocolates and crisps and whatever. And it's, it's the same thing with mobile services. You just, you just can't get enough of it. You just need another service. You just need, ah, oh, what? And, and you know, when you open an uh, App Store or Android Market, you know there's a service somewhere that will make your life better. You just know it. You just, you just have to find them. <laughs> and, and once you have them in your pocket, everything's much easier. Well, that, at least what you think. And then it's just the bite-sized service snacking. And, and there's just, you, you can just keep on filling your mouth with it. When in the bus, in the couch, watching the television, uh, when talking to your kids, you're just, oh, just a second, I'll just, I, I need this service for a minute. So, so, so the mobile services are, are there, and they are there for any time and any opportune moment or place. This app, the Wunderkid uh, app from um, Sexy, uh, Sexy, Sexy Wunderkind in, in Berlin. Uh, it's German made, of course because it's, it's the organizer of your life. They have, the rumor has it the Germans are very good at organizing stuff. So now they've, um, this guy, they, they've made an awesome app. Just, uh, that was a German over there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, this is the new service for organizing and improving every aspect of progress in your life. It's, it's an app suite uh, covering to-do lists, um, uh, personal innovation projects, etc. And uh, check it out; it's 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 quite comprehensive, and it's it's uh, it's a nice app. Just released uh, this week. And 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 what we're looking at is that that users are changing <coughs> their behaviors. They're not we, users are not doing what they did four, five, two years ago. Yeah, and this is a girl on the being online while she's doing something else. Um, actually, I think it's about 65% of smartphone users, they, they, they search, they, they are online on their mobile phone while being on the toilet. So, so, so all of a sudden we are online and we are using services where we never used them before. And how can we help our clients and our users to, um, to use this space and to utilize it into uh, making uh, better revenue for our clients, making life better for their users. And, and what it's really all about is, is interact interaction volume. Um, a few years ago, let's just say three years ago, when, when, whenever, when you, when I, let's, go, let's go back to the, uh, the banking universe. Um, when a, a Dane an ordinary Dane, average Dane, he, um, he, he logged on to his net bank approximately once a week. Every Sunday, just paying the, uh, the bills, checking the budget. So that was, this is Sunday, then nothing happened with his interaction with his bank. This is Sunday again, and then it just, oh, I'm oh no, sorry, the camera, I'll go back. And then um, it just, just went on, and then maybe uh, twice a year, while well, you would book a, a meeting at the bank, and, and that's it. And then. Sometimes maybe you would have uh, a direct mail from your bank say, hey, we can lend you some money uh, or whatever, or you need to pay us. But very, it's a very ongoing and very steady. And now with the, mo with the, uh, the mobile services, that, um, that enables a more um, continuous uh, customer dialogue uh, and, and even a more natural relationship with the, the, the bank and the client. 
Because whenever I need to check my account, whenever I need to do uh, a money transfer to my friend because he, he paid a beer at the cafe, I can just do it on a mobile service. I don't need to go back on a Sunday uh, on my net bank. I don't need to visit the bank to do it. I can just fill out these, the gap between the normal interaction with, with mobile services. And that goes uh, really with um, almost uh, uh, not just in the banking and finance sector. And, and if you look at, at um, whoa, at the uh, Jyske Bank, um, they went from this average stain that each of their clients were on average visiting their net bank, visiting Jyske Bank uh, once a week. So that, that was their opportunity space to uh, sell, to strengthen loyalty, to get in dialogue and for the users to, to touch their, their money. That was once a week. And launching the, the smart, their smartphone app, their, their, their mobile bank, uh, all of a sudden that average went to from once a week to once a day. So, so, so all of a sudden an average Jyske Bank client is in dialogue with the bank once a day instead of once a week. So that's a vast, a va a vast scope of, of and, and, and really a totally different opportunity space of, um, of selling, of, of loyalty, of, 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 of strengthening uh, the brand and of, for the user just really to, 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 um, to realize uh, the services that the bank uh, offer and not just uh, holding it within the, the net bank. And, and, and looking at it in, in a more, uh, on a more um, detailed level, Before we had the smartphones and the tablets, well, uh, and also now really, uh, maybe once a year or twice a year, you, you go to the bank because you need to uh, revisit your budget, you need to, or you, you want to buy, buy a car, you need to, to go there to, to uh, lend the money, you, you want, you're looking at a new apartment, you want to, uh, whatever. Well, you, at least you go down there once a year and you sit at their desk and, 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 the, um, and it's their system. So, the bank advisor has his or her hands on his or her keyboard and, and you can't really see the screen because it's their system and, and once they ask you the questions, they define the questions and I just say, yeah, yeah, uh, well, 200,000, yeah, well, it's, it's uh, four years old and, uh, and it's not, not rusty, not that rusty, please lend me the money. And then they tap in all the numbers and they press return and then the, the system says yes or no and, and that's it. So it's, it's, very on, it's on their premise. Um, and then you go back to, to your net banking, it's still in their system. Um, but, but, but you as a user are in control. Um, it's, it's a very complex system. It's, it's very rigid. It's, 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 uh, net banks are, are just sort of an Excel sheet skinned for web. It's, it's not that exciting and you can't really do anything but, but move numbers by pressing and the name of shit and all, all that. Um, and it's still a single user service self-service and you're not you're not gathering with a family in front of the net bank you're just there to 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 pay your bills and just to to, to check your budget and then entering the smartphone uh, scene which is uh, on the go it's convenient it's fast action uh, can i buy do i have the money to buy this leather jacket i need to transfer 35 corner for this beer that my friend just paid at the cafe i it's it's, it's just the rapid actions and then entering the tablet which is completely different even though it's also mobile which has a social dimension and which is far more tactile and far more um, tangible now you can you can almost you, you can touch your money the smartphone is still a, s a, f a far smaller screen and, and you're in couch control you, you're it's it's lean back whereas the net banking is, is, is lean forward the, the tablet is is lean back, it's playful, and it's an ex explorative way to, to encounter your, your bank and your money. Okay, I need to, we need to save money for, for, for travel this summer. We need, we t well, we need uh, 30,000. How can I, where can I save? I can save on my cafe, I can save on my clothing, I can save on food tax, I can start shopping in Netto instead. And then all of a sudden, you, you are in control of your money. 
because it's, it's your device, it's your service, and it's, it's a social dimension because you can, you can be there with your wife and you can even take it to the bank and you can show them what you've been doing. So, so with, with these two new services, I wonder what's going to happen with this service. Are there, in, in five years from now, are there as many physical banks as, as there are now? I don't think so. And, and what's, the, what's the service? How, why should I go there? Because the service that these new digital platforms are, are providing me now and in five years from now are far, are far, are far better and far more on my half than, than when going to, um, to the bank. So, so key learnings, short key learnings on, 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 uh, on mobile. It's not that different from what we're doing when we're doing communication and design anyhow. It's, it's all just still about the right service in the right context on the right platform and to the right user. So, 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 so with, with that said, yes, of course, there are differences and, and it's a new platform and it holds new potentials, but, but as a core uh, communication platform, it, it's, it's just still all the same. We need to understand the users. Um, we don't invent apps for, for needs that don't exist. Um, yeah, this might be a bit out of scope. It's just a fun app. Uh, yeah, I should. I actually, l last night I'll, I'll take it out, but I forgot. So yeah, um, but now it's here, and I'll just have to tell you about it. <laughs> Shit. Um, it's 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 an old app. It's a 2008 app. It's a Swedish app called uh, Condom 08, uh, where the uh, Stockholm uh, municipality <coughs> wanted the, their young uh, Stockholmers to um, to start using condoms because they weren't. And then they, uh, uh, an agency developed uh, this app where you, um, while getting laid, you get the stats right. <laughs> so you just turn, turn on the app, oh. you turn on something else, and then you turn on the app, <laughs> and then you put the, uh, the smartphone in, in, uh, in the bed, and then it measures the rhythm, the sound, and the time for the sex. Yeah? <laughs> And then once you're done, uh, this of course gets uh, it gets uploaded on, on on location as well. So all of a sudden, <coughs> Stockholm had a uh, very clear vision of um, where and when and for how long and how noisy and with how much rhythm uh, people in Stockholm were having sex. In the same um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, but but on the more serious part, um, we're doing a, a, a large scale. Um, a project for the moment for a uh, large Danish client where all the users have very large fingers. Um, and as you might know, a smartphone and buttons, they tend sometimes to be a bit small. And uh, to make it even worse, uh, almost all of the users never had a, s or they ha don't have a smartphone, even though many of the Danes, most of the Danes are, uh, are uh, they do have smartphones now, these users have never had a smartphone and then they have these very large fingers so and and this is a, a key service for uh, for the product and for the um, for the um, for the company so so you need to take that uh, that learning very very close to the development of the app of course and not just making the, m the most nifty uh, app ever you need to, to to make sure that this app is for these hands. Have you, ever, have you ever seen men with large fingers holding their, their, um, their, their smartphone like this, using the pink? <laughs> have you seen it? They do it. It's, 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 it's horrendous because the, the, the other things are, are, are too big. Yeah. And then, of course, great apps, they are context aware. Uh, I've been, uh, I told you that before. Um, again, going back to Germany. Um, there's a great app, uh, Deutsche Bahn. Um, you know, uh, free rental bikes in, in Denmark, uh, most places in Denmark at least, horrible systems, you know, the 20 crown, you never know where it is, and they are always destroyed, and uh, it's, it's horrible services. In, um, in, I think it's in about 20 German cities, they have a caller bike from uh, Deutsche Bahn, where you just, well, I need a bike now, my smartphone knows where I am, and they should know where the bikes are as well. So I open the app, and I say, I want a bike. And they say, yeah, sure, uh, follow this route, and uh, they'll navigate me 
the 75 meters to the nearest bike and they will get me the code so I on the smartphone so when I get there I can just with the code uh, open the, the bike and the bike knows that it's my bike because it's my code that I just got on the smartphone and then when I finish I just lock it off again uh, and then um, the system of course knows where the bike na is now so so everything computer based is on the user smartphone following uh, the bike and then another uh, great app sit or squat um, when going to uh, on holidays in, in a new city and you really need to pee uh, and you just want a, a public toilet well here every single public toilet is mapped rated etc by other users so you can also f always find um, the cleanest, best and nearest toilet. Um, and then of course this is technology based but, but, but you really need to minimize the perception of technology, just make it uh, intuitive and, and uh, make it the technology invisible. Um, like uh, MasterCard's um, PayPass where you just swipe the phone and then uh, you get the mi uh, seamless micropayment. And then um, when we do struggle with clients around apps, this is the struggle. Um, because oh, now we're doing an app, can we just, oh, we need to do this and this and this and this and this as well. No, really, you need to think of, um, of deducting as much as possible, so making the apps based as much on core functionality and on the core service as, mu as possible and not on what could have been in there. Be proud of what you deduct instead of what you put in uh, the app because um, perfection is achieved when there's nothing more to add but when there's nothing left to take away yeah that's beautiful isn't it <laughs> and then <laughs> and then on, on, the, on the last part <coughs> you really need to wow your users with the service and your app because uh, apps is about getting excited users satisfied users that's what your competitors has And that about sums it up. Just around 20 minutes from my part. <laughs> I have um, brought you some of these. They are not enough. Uh, but on our website, you can find these as uh, downloadable PDFs. It's a, um, a briefing on mobile services, brand new. Uh, so are there any questions? Think that the tablets will take over the smartphones uh, as well as they are going to take over laptops. I don't even I don't even think that tablets are going to take over over, over the laptop. I think that um, the tablet is a bit like a microwave oven, really. Uh, back in the 60s, when the microwave oven uh, was invented, everyone said, "Oh, this is going to kill uh, the waffle iron. It's going to kill the oven. It's going to kill." The toaster, it's going to kill, it's going to take over the world, but it, it, but it didn't. It just found, it found, it found its own sweet, f its sweet spot for reheating coffee and making popcorn, right? So and I think it's, it's just, it's a, bit of, it's a bit the same with the tablet. The tablet holds, it, it's, it's fantastic. It's not going to kill the, t uh, the laptop because laptop is creating. It's lean forward media. And uh, going over to, to the tablet, it's more lean backward, it's more explorative. As, it is, as the tablet is for now, at least, you can't really produce that much on it. You can, you can adjust and you can explore, but it's not a productive media. So, so I think, I think that, that the smartphone and the tablet and the laptop, let's not talk about the stationary PC anymore, but, but, but at least talk about the tablet and the laptop and the smartphone. I think they are here for a long time. I think we're going to laugh at them as they are now, five years from now. But, but they, I think they will still be here. Uh, and I think Microsoft just uh, launched a, a hybrid from a, another hybrid tablet uh, laptop stuff. I think that I, I don't really, I'm not like keen on those uh, ideas, but, but I think that uh, Three Clovers is here, for, here to stay, at least for now. What, what part of, the, of, of mobile can they uh, earn money on now? Yeah. Um, good question. Um, Many businesses did apps two or three years ago just because they needed an app. They needed to be there in order to be present. So 
they invented an app that was really just a surplus to the existing services. It, just, it, it didn't really fit within their service ecosystem or their product ecosystem. It was just an app. Um, when we're doing apps now, the apps are an integrated part of the service. So you can't really have the service, you can't really ha use the product without the app. So, so I mean, you can go to, you can go to a, a festival, Roskilde Festival, and have the time of your life without the app, and you might have a bit better time of your, of your life with the app, but it's not really that change, it's not, it's not changing the festival. But, but if, you, if, you, if you buy a product or, or you engage in a service that's, well, that's dependent on the app, then you might transform that service or that product into something completely new by, um, by, by, by blending the product and the service and, and, and the app. Yeah? Thank you so much, Scholz. Welcome. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much for coming. Feel free to stay. Uh, we have a lot more coffee and a lot more oatmeal. Uh, so no one leaves until it's all been eaten or drink. <laughs> um, to keep updated about Creative Mornings, uh, you can visit the website, uh, creativemornings.com. There you can also see all the talks that have been made around the world. And you can also check out our Facebook, which is probably the best way to get to know who's the next speaker and where is it going to be where's it going to take place. Uh, so keep updated by visiting the website.